Ibrahim Traoré's leadership style and ideological alignment with Thomas Sankara have recently earned a lot of comparisons to the revolutionary Burkinabe leader who is not just a hero of Burkina Faso, but will go down in history as one of Africa's finest leaders. But before examining any leader's capabilities and making assumptions, it's necessary to fully understand their predecessors. As such, we are going to be examining Ibrahim Traoré's similarities to Thomas Sankara. Traoré, like Sankara, is deeply committed to Africa's development and sovereignty, advocating for self-reliance while resisting external influence, particularly from former colonial powers such as France. Traoré's vision for Africa is similar to that of Sankara, emphasizing grassroots empowerment, equitable resource distribution, and the dismantling of neo-colonial structures. Traoré and Sankara share similar actions and strategies. Traoré's role in orchestrating a coup to depose what he sees as a puppet government installed and controlled by France echoes Sankara's resistance to external manipulation and exploitation. Traoré's efforts to reclaim control of Burkina Faso's natural resources from foreign exploitation are consistent with Sankara's agenda of prioritizing his people's interests over those of foreign powers. Furthermore, Traoré's stance against French influence is consistent with growing sentiments in French-speaking African countries, where citizens are increasingly questioning economic disparities and their continued reliance on former colonial powers for development. Many believe Traoré embodies Thomas Sankara's spirit, emerging as a symbol of resistance to neocolonialism and a beacon of hope for African self-determination and prosperity. Traoré's trajectory mirrors that of Sankara, evoking comparisons and aspirations for a new era of African liberation and progress. Ibrahim Traoré's sudden rise to prominence in September 2022 is reminiscent of Hollywood action films, but the reality is far more complex. Traoré's rise from a relatively unknown local officer to a central figure in Burkina Faso's political landscape parallels that of Thomas Sankara, a revered national icon. Both men, captains, seized power at the age of 34 and deposed newly installed military regimes, drawing striking parallels between their leadership journeys. However, beyond the cinematic allure of their stories, there is a deeper significance for Burkina Faso and the African continent. Traoré's leadership marks a watershed moment in the country's history, with far-reaching consequences for its future trajectory. His belief that France is a systemic impediment to Burkina Faso's progress echoes a broader sentiment among many Africans who question the legacy of colonialism and neocolonial dynamics. Traoré's determination to confront French influence marks a significant departure from the status quo, establishing him as a transformative figure in Burkina Faso's quest for autonomy and self-determination. As Burkina Faso navigates this critical juncture, Traoré's leadership will undoubtedly leave an indelible imprint, not only on the country, but also on the larger African narrative of liberation and sovereignty. Traoré's efforts to strengthen ties with Russia echo Thomas Sankara's bold steps in challenging the influence of former colonial powers. Traoré's signing of business and military agreements with Russia demonstrates his clear intention to diversify Burkina Faso's international partnerships and reduce reliance on traditional Western allies. The summit, hosted by Russian President Vladimir Putin, provided Traoré with an opportunity to assert Burkina Faso's sovereignty and address historical injustices perpetuated by colonial powers. Traoré's passionate speech at the Street Petersburg Summit encapsulated many African nations' frustration with being sidelined in global affairs and exploited for their resources. His claim that Africa is the forgotten people of the world is consistent with the larger narrative of African nations attempting to assert their agency and reclaim control over their futures. Traoré reaffirms Burkina Faso's commitment to forging its own path toward development and prosperity by emphasizing the importance of free-flowing discussions on the future of African countries. Furthermore, Traoré's expression of a common vision with Russia reflects a strategic shift toward emerging global powers and indicates Burkina Faso's desire to diversify its international alliances.
Trayer Ray's expression of hope for improved fair trade opportunities and the establishment of strong bilateral relations demonstrates his administration's commitment to fostering mutually beneficial partnerships that prioritize Burkina Faso's interests. Trayer Ray's alliance with Russia positions Burkina Faso as an active player on the global stage, asserting its agency and autonomy in international relations. Trayer Ray's poignant questioning of why resource-rich Africa remains impoverished resonates with many on the continent who have long experienced similar frustrations. His speech emphasizes the critical need for African countries to break free from the cycle of exploitation and dependence perpetuated by imperial powers. By challenging the status quo and advocating for self-sufficiency, Traoré emphasizes the importance of African leaders asserting their agency and putting their people's interests ahead of external influences. Traoré's optimism about the formation of new relationships reflects a broader shift in Africa's diplomatic landscape, with countries increasingly seeking alternative partners beyond traditional Western allies. Traoré emphasizes the importance of forming alliances based on mutual respect and benefit, indicating Burkina Faso's commitment to pursuing a more equitable and independent path to development. His call for African leaders to resist being treated as puppets controlled by external forces reflects the continent's growing sense of sovereignty and self-determination. The comparison of the outcomes of the summits hosted by Russia and the United States emphasizes the changing dynamics of global diplomacy. While the U.S. gathering produced no tangible agreements, Traoré's participation in the Russian summit indicates a willingness to explore alternative avenues for collaboration and partnership. As African countries continue to assert their presence on the global stage, leaders like Traoré play an important role in shaping a future that prioritizes African interests and aspirations. Only a few days ago, Ibrahim Traoré issued a warning to France and the United States, claiming that any threat to Niger's new military leader would be interpreted as an attack on Burkina Faso as well. This warning has sparked widespread outrage and unrest in Niger, prompting France to evacuate its citizens and any Europeans seeking to leave the country. Based on the information presented above, we can conclude that Ibrahim Traoré has several similarities to the late Thomas Sankara, a revered African leader. Both Traoré and Sankara assumed the presidency of Burkina Faso at a young age, with Traoré becoming Africa's youngest president at 34. They were both deeply committed to the betterment of Africa and wanted to cut ties with France, which they saw as exploiting and manipulating their countries. Traoré's ascent to power via coup, similar to Sankara's, strengthens the comparisons between the two leaders. They both challenged puppet governments thought to be controlled by France and sought to redirect the country's resources for the benefit of its own citizens. Traoré's actions, such as signing agreements with Russia and speaking out against colonial masters at a summit, mirror Sankara's efforts to break free from foreign influence. During his presidency from 1983 to 1987, Thomas Sankara made an indelible mark on Burkina Faso's history with his visionary leadership and bold reforms. He championed a variety of causes, including women's rights, healthcare, education, and land reform, with the goal of uplifting the marginalized and empowering the masses. Sankara's efforts to combat corruption and reduce reliance on foreign aid demonstrated his determination to create a self-sufficient and sovereign nation. However, his unwavering stance against vested interests and foreign interference, particularly his decision to cut ties with France, sparked outrage and opposition from powerful figures. The circumstances surrounding Sankara's death on October 15, 1987, are still debated, fueling speculation and ongoing investigations. Some claim his former colleague Blaise Compor was involved, while others believe external interference, possibly from France, was used to undermine Sankara's anti-imperialist agenda. Sankara's legacy goes beyond his untimely death, with his renaming of the country from Upper Volta to Burkina Faso representing a vision of incorruptibility and self-determination. Despite his tragic death, Sankara's prophetic words rang true, emphasizing that, while people die, ideas endure. Indeed, Sankara's ideals have endured, as evidenced by the emergence of Ibrahim Traoré, 
Burkina Faso's youngest president at 34 years old, who inherited Sankara's legacy as well as the aspirations of a nation striving for true independence and progress. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like and share it.